Tech's assistants like Alexa and Siri can be convenient to use, but the answers they give aren't always correct. WBZ's Courtney Cole is here with a warning from the Better Business Bureau about scams targeting users of those devices. Courtney? All right, so Liam and Kate, it's as simple as needing a phone number for a business or company, you know, asking your Google Home or your Alexa to find it and dial it for you. Okay. We've probably all done that before, right? The next thing you know, though, you're talking to a representative, just not a real one. When people are asking to, for example, um, Siri, look up United uh, Airlines customer service phone number, it connects you automatically. You think you were talking to them. They ask for an upfront fee of $125. You're convinced that you're talking to the legitimate United Airlines. Um, and the next day you realize, wow, it was unfortunately not United, um, but yet they directed you to either, you know, a, a fraudulent website or a company that you did not plan on contacting. Now, the specific example you just heard involves scammers posing as an airline, but the BBB tells me there are many versions of this scam. So how are your smart devices calling the wrong numbers in the first place? Scammers are creating fake customer service numbers, bumping them to the top of the search results. That increases the chance that it will be selected and dialed. So how can you protect yourself? Well, just always go straight to the source. Yes, it's easy to use those voice-activated technology assistants, but go get the bill. Go directly to the website, grab the receipt. You will save yourself a lot of trouble. And just in the event that you do end up making a payment to a scammer, guys, just always make sure it's with a credit card. You have so much more protection that way. Kate, Liam? Such good information. Who knew? Courtney, thank you. I mean, they don't even understand what I'm saying anyway, so when I ask them, they're like, oh, you want to go to Target? I'm like, no, I asked what time it was. The scammer runs out of patience with you. I can't understand what <laughs> so annoyed.